today we're going to talk about SSL offloading. When you talk about um, SSL, which is the um, ability to go ahead and secure transaction between a client and a server, we need to go ahead and do it in a secure way. So the protocol that's used is called SSL, Secure Socket Layers. So from your point of view, you think of having two points being able to communicate in a secure way so we can guarantee the integrity of the information, we can guarantee the confidentiality of the uh, information and also avoiding any tampering you know, between two systems. So this is very fundamental to you doing your online transaction in a secure way. So a lot of you guys do e-commerce you know, and um, buying things uh, over the internet, you need to make sure that's secure. So the protocol that looks after that is called SSL, Secure Socket Layer. But that's not a full topic of today, but we're gonna talk about something called SSL offload. So what exactly are we talking about here? So from a transaction point of view, think of a client. I'm gonna draw this client here with, again, small legs. Trying to connect to a backend system. So you can see here, I'm always gonna draw a backend system with a tiny little circle. This is our applications, right? And this application is running, obviously, inside the server. You can see here, I'm going to draw this here, just nice little circle, and I'm going to call this server. Okay? So we're trying to do a secure communication between the client and the backend system. Now, the challenge we've got with SSL is, it is usually very CPU intensive, right? So the first thing that you need to bear in mind is, very CPU intensive. Why? Because you have to do a lot of cryptography, you know, challenges to be able to uh, compute and crunch a lot of data, right, to secure it. So, CPU intensive, okay? So you can see here, if you go ahead and enable SSL onto a backend system, onto a server, right, better be expected that your CPU uh, computation wise is gonna be very heavy. So, we need to go ahead and find a way to offload this heavy crunching, right, of SSL onto another device. And that device is usually called my SSL offloader or my application delivery controller, right? And that's gonna sit between the client and my backend system. So you can see here, essentially, I don't need to have any of the SSL on my backend server. I can actually go ahead and offload it to this device. Why? Well, because these devices are usually designed to cope with the huge amount of SSL transaction, you know, given that it's very CPU intensive. So they will have specialist card, right, to cope with all the hard SSL work, okay? And that's essentially what we refer to our SSL offload. So for that to work, instead of having the client talk into our backend system, you can see here directly, right? We're gonna to try to avoid that. We're gonna get this client to talk to this device, called, usually called application delivery controllers, and that device will then talk to the backend system. Notice here that we're not doing SSL on that backend. We're only doing SSL between the client and our first device here. So essentially this device is taking all the hard work at this level, right, where the backend system essentially is doing nothing to do with SSL, which means we can have a lot of CPU spared here for our application transaction, okay? So by doing so, I've done SSL offloading from the backend system to my front-end devices, which is usually called uh, my application delivery controller. That's essentially what we mean by SL offloading. Think about CPU, right? Think about offloading all the hard work, all the hard uh, crypto work that the backend system have to do to another device that is dedicated and has special functionality, special hardware to be able to provide that um, functionality, right? So we save CPU, potentially also save cost Right, because these backend systems do not have to be as expensive, do not have to be as powerful, because all that functionality has now been offloaded to my ADC. That's it. Thank you guys.